to Just Desserts. My name is Renee Smith. And I'm Jamie Hendricks. And today, Jamie, we're going to play a probability game. You ready? Probability? Probability. Okay, what we're, does that mean? Well, we're going to try to find out if kids understand the likelihood that we'll roll certain rolls. Okay. Okay, so we have two dice, and we have created game boards on just regular pieces of paper, although we will have this uh, downloadable version on the website. Uh, and so we've just created five columns with the letters S, K, U, N, K above them, and we play five rounds. And whoever has the highest total at the end of the five rounds is the winner. Here's how you have to play. You roll both dice. So each letter is a, is is a, a round. round. Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to roll, and if I roll a one, I'm done for that round, and I've lost the points. So on my first roll, I didn't do very well. I, on my S, I would have had a zero. But there is another roll Two. that if I rolled, a, well, I, I'm just going to have to pretend. Let's say I roll double ones. If I roll double ones, then I lose every point from every previous round as well. So those are the rolls you want to stay away from. So here's what can happen. I can roll. and. I'm doing some mental math at the same time I'm worrying about probability. So I've rolled a, a, a 6 and a 5, so I have a total of 11. Now, if I don't want to risk my 11 points, I can score it right now. And then you're done with that And then round. I'm done with that round, and it would be your turn to roll. But if I want to chance it, which this is where probability comes in, because if I want to chance it, I can risk these 11 points and roll again. As long as I don't roll a 1, I keep adding it up. So okay. I have 11. Up oh, and I would have lost. Yeah, but if I had if I had been able to roll something that didn't have a one involved, I could continue to add that. So I would have, I would have had to score zero in this round. Okay, so your turn. Okay. Because I risked it. Oh, what do you have? I have seven. Okay, are you gonna risk it or go? I'm gonna risk it. Oh. Ooh. Now what Another do you have? Eight. I have fifteen. You have fifteen. Oh, she's gutsy. <gasps> Another seven. What do you have? Fifteen plus seven. That's the mental math part. I'm not good at mental math. Well, what? Can I write it out? Well, what's fifteen plus five? Oh, that's twenty. Twenty-two. Okay, twenty-two. Are you going to risk twenty-two? Uh, no, I'm uh, staying. With you're staying 22. with twenty-two. Okay, now it'd be my turn in the K category. Six. Well, you've got me going, so I got to keep going. Six and six is twelve. Ooh, and 11, 11 on to 12 is 23. I'm stopping. Okay? So I have a total of 23 so far. Oh, you done. got a zero, but at least you didn't get snake eyes. If you'd gotten double ones, you would have lost your 22. That's true. So six. Come on, baby. No ones. And eight is 14. I'm going to stop. And I'm probably going to get a one. Oh. Nope. I got an eight. I'm going to risk it. Not very smart. Eight and six is fourteen. Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. No, nope, I'm staying. No? Okay. I'm staying. Okay. Oh. We're close. I've got a seven and a nine, nine is sixteen. I'm stopping. I don't trust those dice. Five. I gotta push it. <gasps> Five and eleven is sixteen. Stopping. Yeah. Okay, here's the last round, and we're almost tied. I have Holy cow, you one more one point, more than, point than you. Seven. Oh, shoot. And five is 12. Uh, no ones. No. Nope. And eight is 20. I'm stopping. Now I have to push it. You have I to push it unless you get a one. Okay, seven. Oh. oh, zero. Pretty, pretty good though. So then, at the end, you can do some real addition because you, if if we hadn't been paying attention to the fact that we were only one apart, we could total up our scores. And if you had more people playing, that would be a lot more important sure. to then total up the scores at the end. What do you think? I think it's a quick and easy game, but it's a lot of good good mental math and strategy involved in it. So. Absolutely, and it helps your kids uh, learn that uh, they have one out of six chances of hitting that one on a roll. So they have to be careful and be willing to risk it if they're going to... But does it increase the 12 since there's two actually, ones? Actually, no. It, really? It, it doesn't. It actually is... It's even bigger than that because I have one out of six chances 
of what I would roll on the first dice. So there's, so I have one out of six of getting the one on the first dice. But on the second dice, I also have one out of six chances. Holy cow. You're right, so that it increases. So for this, it'd be, it'd be a multiplication problem. So I'd have one out of 36 chances of getting double ones. So it's not very likely you're going to get double ones, but, but sometimes you do. And that would wipe out all the scores that came before. So thanks for joining us again for another episode of Just Desserts. You can find out more information about this and other things you can do with your kids on MyKidsTurn.com.